Well guys, the day is finally here when us mere mortals can go out and get ourselves the Sega Mega Drive Mini. I tell ya, this thing actually weighs, it's got some weight to it, it's just like the, um, I think it was a PlayStation Classic. Now a lot has been said about this, I've done a lot of, of videos on this topic in the past. Um, also said that in the past that, you know, why are we having one of these things when we already got something like this we've you know we've got these ones on multiple systems it's got a lot of the games in here and um what it comes down to for me is that unlike the act games consoles where the first one did not look anything like a uh, mega drive the second one did but it still didn't have that polish that we know from sega and that's what makes this uh so special is because this is an official licensed product that Sega has brought out themselves. Uh, I've, I've stayed away from watching a lot of big YouTubers. I know a lot of, well, the, mass, the vast majority of them uh, got like a, uh, a free one from Sega of America. And I've been avoiding watching those channels altogether. I don't know what they talked about. They did the unboxing or whatever. I, I, I avoided that because I wanted to go into this fresh. So finally... Uh, after such a long time I get to open this thing up and you, you gotta remember for me the uh, master system is where it all started for me back in 89 so you know after the Dreamcast you know after the uh, demise of the Dreamcast it was just like ouch you know that was the last time I would ever think I would be picking up a official product from Sega 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 oh man just gotta chill down my spine, I tell ya. Cause when was the last time? When was the last time I held one of these little guys in my hand? Come on, this is insane. This is nothing like what Act Games uh, released. This was that, that was pretty dodgy uh, compared to this is this is the Mega Drive controller. This is the one though. Like, got blisters on my fingers from playing in games like Streets of Rage all the time and all those amazing RPGs it's just this is just unbelievable just just to see this after all these years it has been I don't know it's been the longest time since I've held a Mega Drive controller in my hand and uh, we do have two of these so that's really cool uh, yeah that was really cool uh, of course we got the HDMI cable and the uh, cable for the yeah for connecting it to some sort of power port I think the USB is fine with the uh, maybe the iPhone USB power plug HDMI cable is there this is yeah I'm just I just can't get over the fact that these it's been such a long time since I've held one of these controllers in my hand and it just Wow, it just was, it, back then it was like a big revolution in controllers, the way it, it just sort of sat on your hand, it just felt so right, uh, compared to the Master System and the NES and even the Super Nintendo one was okay, but for some reason this thing was just, this was easy to hold in, the, in, your, in your hands. Okay, this thing <laughs> is so tiny, <laughs> you're kidding me, this is just like, oh my god, what have you guys done? You shrunk this down, it's super size shrunk down. How do you open this? Okay, let's try and get this thing open. Gonna have to, no, I don't wanna rip into it. Okay, here we go. I can't believe after all these years we're getting this. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> this is, just, is this just the cutest? Oh my God, this is just, this is, yeah, it's, it's just amazing. It is just, and it even, yeah, you can put those fake, uh, I think in Japan they got like the um, the mini carts with the collector's edition, which we didn't get here in the West. Why we didn't get that here in the West? Sega, I don't know. It's just ridiculous, but they are USB as well. I didn't realize there were, there were USB in the front here, but this just looks on and off, up and down with, oh man, this is so freaking cute. It's so cool. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get into playing some of the... Uh, the games on there and it's really cool because there are games on this that we've never seen before on even the discs or on the app game stuff so that's really cool uh mega man wow tetris uh, darius oh man that's awesome um world of uh, illusions i never played that now now this is the thing 
when the Mega Drive was released, I think the first 18 months, it just had so many great titles coming out. You know, it was just amazing time. And things kind of went downhill for me with the release of Fantasia. I no, I remember getting that. I was, so, I was super excited for that one. And getting it and was like, what the hell did they do wrong with this game? It was a complete mess. I later found out it was made by, uh, I think produced by Sega of America and developed by an American company. I kind of stayed away from anything that uh, Sega of America touched because you know, everything that uh, Sega of Japan did turned to gold and everything that... Uh, Sega of America did, in my opinion, turned to crap. But um, yeah, that's just a little story I want to share with that about that. But um, one thing I am a little bit disappointed with the mini. Why? Why Sega? Why couldn't you put this one on here? Take out something else. Just you know, they could have put this on here. This is one of my favorite uh, Mega Drive games, Crackshot Donald Duck. Uh, that's the only disappointing thing for me about this is. Have so many other great games, but for some reason, Crackshot was left out. So I'm gonna wonder if if there's gonna be some sort of um, hack in this thing very much in the future, like with the uh, PlayStation Classic. Uh, I, I've I've got a USB where I've got you know, a ton of other games you can play on it. If that's possible and that's gonna be really cool, I don't know. But it's just it's just the <laughs> the controller is just about as big as the uh, the mini. But this thing looks really good. It's, it's got a bit of weight to it. I, I I can't believe this. It's just this. Yeah, this is the whole official Sega product. Something that Sega has made themselves, not using at games or anybody else. Super cool. Can't wait to get into this. Uh, so yeah, I I am happy for finally getting this thing. It it looks like a, fo a proper product, not like the at game stuff. It's just and these controllers, man. This is incredible. Honestly, that is so incredible. It just brings back a lot of memories. Just just by unboxing this controller. And all those blisters all those years ago that I would have. Have to go to work all bandaged up fingers and thumbs and stuff like that. How do we dare to dream for a Master System Mini, a Saturn Mini, Dreamcast Mini? I don't know, but let's see how this thing sells. I'm hoping that Sega is watching the sales and hopefully they are listening to the fans. Because there's a lot of us out there would love to see a Dreamcast Mini. Honestly, it would be unbelievable to see that. It did have an amazing array of games that a lot of people would, wouldn't have known about. So yeah, uh, trip down memory lane. Liking what I see with this. And then this thing just, yeah, this thing just brings back so many memories. It's just, yeah, it was an amazing controller, amazing system. Apart from some of the stuff that Sega America did, but hey, that's okay. Every system has their bad games, I know, but I'm just loving the whole look of this. So, hey guys, um, thanks very much for watching this. There's been tons of these done already by the big YouTubers. Half of them probably weren't even born during the era this thing came out. I was. I have, you know, I just love this. It was It was an incredible system. See you, uh, see you, see you next time, guys. Bye. The day has finally arrived when us mere mortals get to go out and buy the... Uh, Sega Dreamcast